crazy. Well, why I mean, are you was... critiquing people? You're not knowledgeable. You don't know because, much. Because I, be, no, because I care about the truth. And I think when somebody- What truth? You don't even is... know the truth. You're lost. You're confused. I, I don't feel like that. But if you're you prefer, proving it if by you your answers. Okay. I don't know this. I don't know that. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you ask me. You're asking me really quite complicated uh, questions. Well, you asked me to stump you. you want me to uh, throw you curveballs? Yeah, I'm. I'm not complaining. It's okay. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm going to write it all down. I'll go find yeah, answers. You can go watch it. Come back. We'll have a round two. But before we do sure. that, but you don't even know if the Quran is uncreated. So I don't even know how to proceed because you don't even know if the Quran is uncreated. And the yet, your Quran Sunni. is uncreated. Yes, part of the Sunni tradition. You're not Shia. In that Quran only is that the Quran is uncreated. The Quran is uncreated. Quran is uncreated. I don't even understand oh why how that makes sense. Because or... it's supposed to be. There we go. I don't understand. My God, have mercy on you. Bring you out of your darkness. Here. Okay. Oh, I don't. I don't know what that means. The Quran is uncreated. It means the Quran is not a created entity because it's a speech of Allah, and because the right. speech of Allah is one of His attributes, and it's uncreated. I guess I got to show you. That's like philosophy and no it isn't it's ahl al sunnah wa jama it's the tradition of sunni islam based on narrations attributed to muhammad see again you just said something okay. all right okay so can you yeah i'm going to show you can it go you. ahead tell me what is the problem with it being uncreated you don't know what the problem is with being uncreated okay hold on let me just get you some <laughs> an online source you're laughing i don't know what you're laughing at because it's going to be embarrassing just be patient I just want to get an online source. Now, the Quran is supposed to be the uncreated speech of Allah because it is one of his attributes. And none of Allah's attributes are created. None of them. So if the Quran is kalam Allah, kalam, meaning speech of Allah, word of Allah, it cannot be created. So the Quran is uncreated. But do you believe the Quran is Allah? The Quran is Allah? and. Okay. It Is the Quran Allah? I mean, it depends on the, what what sense you mean when you say is. Like so you can you, say that I I am uh, generous, but that doesn't mean I'm synonymous with so generous. So so Allah is a predication. Allah is an attribute, per, characteristic, or is Allah being? No, you said the Quran. Yeah, but you didn't hear your own analogy, brother. Pay attention to your analogy. Listen to what you said. I am generous. Well, generous is a predication. It's a quality. So when I say is the Quran Allah, you just made Allah a predication. Is Allah I thought you said is Allah the Quran. No, I said is okay. the Quran Allah. Is the Quran Allah? Yeah. I mean, in a literal sense, no. Of course. So it's not Allah, and yet it's uncreated. It's <laughs> say say again. I'm just trying. I'm trying to understand it. It's here it goes. Here's a hadith right here. No, Quran is uncreated. Okay, you see it, right. Abu Dawood. Yeah. This is proof of the fact the Quran is, is not created. It's not okay. created. Okay, so my question to you is, if the Quran is uncreated and it's not Allah, right? Yeah, I guess. What? So okay. how many uncreated things do you have? How many uncreated things? You just said, brother, follow yourself. My brother and humanity. Yeah. Honestly, you're, say, you're saying that there, there can't be, there shouldn't be anything uncreated besides God, right? Well, that's what and you if, say. If the Quran is uncreated, okay, I, I see your point. Okay, yeah, so I don't, I don't have an answer for that. All right, at least I have to get back to you. That's good because why I'm doing this is when you study, whatever argument he has against the Trinity, if you had any, it's going to be used against your belief as a Sunni Muslim. So either you're going to have to abandon Islam and Christianity altogether, or you're going to have to stop thinking that the Trinity is incompatible with God's unity. This is what I'm trying to show you. Are you aware that your Sunni traditions teach that the Quran actually speaks to Allah? And will appear on the day of judgment interceding for you. So the speech of Allah will intercede. Yeah, you're seeing the problem. Good. If for right. me with Allah. Yep, you are. It's, it's the light switch went on. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see what's problematic with, with that. You don't have a problem with the Quran, which is supposed to be the speech of Allah. Yeah. Talking with Allah. So is that Allah speaking to Himself? I thought that's a speech. Yeah. What's the problem with Allah speaking to Himself? <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I like that. So Allah now appears in a different mode. It appears as the Quran. So you just made the Quran identical with Allah. Good. Excellent. Keep going. I made the Quran identical with Yes, because you just said, what's the problem with Allah speaking to himself? So if the Quran is speaking to Allah, that's Allah speaking to himself. That means the Quran is Allah speaking to Allah. You didn't hear yourself? And what's, what you just said? what's, what's wrong with that? 
Oh, so okay, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying you're okay with it. That's so good. So I just want to hear, hear what you it's recorded. You can laugh, Daniel. I man, I'll laugh with you, brother. I'm I'm I'm, I'm generous. So notice what you said. <laughs> See, good. I'm glad we can laugh. We'll laugh together, brothers and mm -hmm. humanity. So the Quran will speak to Allah, and that's Allah's speech, which means Allah speaking to himself. And you go, Yeah, I have no problem with that. Okay. Well, I, I don't know if we have to say it's Allah speaking to himself, actually. I mean it's but it's a it's speech. Interceding. Yeah. So Allah is interceding with himself. Let's go with interceding. Allah is interceding with himself? No, his speech is interceding for you. Yeah, but the Quran is a speech, so it's now separate from Allah. So you have now two created things? Yeah, we're back to the... the I, I wrote down here, how is the Quran uncreated? I, I don't know the answer. I'm going to have to All right. look that up. So what's my point? You don't have pure monotheism. You have an idea of God that it's very complex and it's similar to, not identical with, trin Trinitarianism. So whatever Muslims tell you about the Trinity, either they're ignorant of their own tradition or they're dishonest because your view of Allah is much more complex than saying it's simple. Because that's what you told me earlier. Oh, it's very simple. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. you. So what's your problem with the Trinity then? Because I'm assuming you left the Trinity too because it didn't make sense to you? Um, the Trinity... Yeah, I don't understand. I, I thought the Trinity made sense to me once before as a Muslim, actually. But then I realized that because I because I, I had the this idea about the attributes and like like I mentioned to you earlier, I am uh, say I'm generous and I am a father and I'm all these different things. But that doesn't mean that those things are me. But then I realized those are attributes and the Trinity is actually uh, persons. Well, not right? the Quran. The Quran is a person because it's going to speak to Allah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about all that, but you're yeah. asking me about the Trinity. Yeah, yeah I don't, I'm saying I don't, whatever I don't reason you had for rejecting Trinity means now I got to reject Islam. Because the Quran is uncreated? No, because the Quran speaks to Allah. So an attribute is going to talk to Allah. So you have a problem with three persons being one God, but you don't have a problem with an attribute speaking to Allah. So this attribute is a living attribute that can speak. And you're okay with that? I never said that the Quran was an attribute. The Muslims said it, it is the speech be. of Allah. Kalam Allah. We, we got to go back to that again? Your speech is an attribute of you? The Muslims say it's his attribute. You're arguing with me? You want me to give you the Muslims? Here, let me show I'll have, I'll have you talk to the Muslim scholars. Hey, dude, why are you saying it's Kalam Allah? Kalam is one of the speeches uh, attributes of Allah. They're saying it, not me. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand what, what your argument is. No, I'm, I want to understand what the Muslim argument because they baffled me. The Quran is a speech of Allah. It's an attribute. If it's an attribute, yet it speaks to Allah. So you have talking attributes? It's one of the sifat of Allah? I don't know. So so you're saying that the Quran, what, Quran is an, is an attribute? Uh, you keep saying I'm saying it. The Muslims keep. Okay, I, yeah, right. You're saying, you're saying that Muslims say that the Quran yes. is an attribute, which is problematic because... Because listen to your argument, not mine. You said, well, you know, Allah has attributes, so I can understand I can have attributes. But if you have persons that are distinct, mm -hmm. then I can't understand how can that be one God. Well, yours is worse. You have an attribute that will speak with God, argue with God, and appear before God, but you're still okay with God being one. So you're okay with attributes speaking then? Yeah, I, I actually don't follow. To be yeah, honest. Well, that's all right. Here it's it is. Pretty comp it's pretty well, complicated. Here you, here you go. Right here. I want to show it to you because it's complicated because you jumped into religion without knowing it. But here you go. Right here, Islam QA. Let's see what they say. Islam QA. This is a prominent Salafi website. It's right here. Look, question. I know that the Quran is one of the attributes of Allah. Here's the link. And what they're going to say, like his eye, his and, and so on. One of the attributes of Allah. So here it is for you. Right here in the comment section. So then I send it to you in private. You see it on the screen? Yeah, and the, the person... Okay, the well, person what's your answer? Is... What? Uh, okay, you're going to see. Do they agree with him? Yes. Okay. And, and that it is the word of Allah in a real sense that was sent down to the prophet through Jibreel and that the Quran is not created. But what is meant by that? Does that mean the words of Allah are not created? Even when we read them, although we are created by Allah and everything we say or do is part of the creation of Allah? Now watch. Here's the answer. The Quran is the word of Allah and is not created. So they're agreeing. Yes, it's the word of Allah. It's not created. It's one of the Okay. 
What is meant by that is that Allah spoke the words of the Quran, which Jibreel heard from him, brought it down to the Prophet and conveyed it to him. All of the attributes of Allah are uncreated. They are eternal with no beginning. The words of Allah are among these attributes and that includes the Quran. So do I need to repeat myself that the Quran is an attribute of Allah? Or you're getting it from the horse's mouth. Therefore, the scholar said that the Quran is not created because it is the words of Allah and that it is one of his attributes. So do I need okay. to repeat that again or you got it now? Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So why do you have no problem with an attribute of Allah appearing and talking to Allah, but you had a problem with persons being God, as Trinitarianism teaches? If an attribute speaks, what does that make it? A speaking attribute. So is it personal or non-personal? I don't know. What's, a, what's the definition of a person? A person is one that has awareness and will, can speak and be spoken to. Yeah. Does the Quran have awareness and will? Of course. It has to be aware that you were reciting it for it to then defend you before Allah. How's it going to intercede That's for you to know who you are? By the command of Allah. So Allah is going to make the Quran aware that you recited it and then going to make the Quran argue with him to defend you? Yeah. Say so, again, Allah is going to make the Quran aware that you recited it? Because you said Allah is going to command why does the Quran? Why does the Quran need to be aware again? How is it going to intercede for you before Allah? And you embrace this religion, my goodness. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how. All I right. don't know. Yeah, it's time for you, buddy. Listen to me. If you don't want to be a Christian, that's up to you. But leave Islam, bro. You made a big mistake. You don't know Islam. You don't understand. The more you study it, the more you, I'm prom, I'm lying to you. The more you study it, I promise you, the more confused you're going to be. You don't even need me in the picture. As you start studying the Muslim scholars of the Quran and the Sifat, <laughs> you're going to walk away more confused and baffled. You made a mistake, man.